Fort for Fitness is preparing for another successful year. The big race will be tomorrow in downtown Fort Wayne. And this one is another record breaker. News Channel 15's Lamar Holiday joins us now with details. Yeah, Mark and Heather, so far organizers say more than 10,000 people have signed up to race tomorrow. That's 200 more runners than last year. And they say it's all about people wanting to live a healthier life. The runners ready, crew members setting up. It's another record-breaking year for Fort for Fitness. Record numbers in the kids' marathon, seniors, and the four-mile just turning out. We're really thrilled with exactly how much this event has grown. For the past six years, the organization has seen record growth. There were times where it looked bleak, but they were able to pull through, all thanks to the donations from charities the organization works with. It's a great win-win situation. You know, we help them, and they, they help find the people who want to run our race. And it's also a win-win for the runners and walkers. Craker says he's starting to see more and more people wanting to change their lifestyle, and Fort for Fitness is a great start. People are catching the, the vision of getting healthier and uh, improving their lifestyle. Partic participants have until 9 tonight to pick up their packet at Parkview Field. The senior and kids race will kick off this evening starting at 6.30. Now many roads will be closed off downtown tomorrow, some being blocked off this evening. To see a map of those closures, visit Wayne.com. Lamar Holiday, News Channel 15. And Saturday's events will also affect CityLink riders. The bus service will operate out of the old Superior Street station from 8.15 in the morning to 12.15 in the afternoon. All detours are posted at the Central Station and on CityLink's website. By the way, service will resume on Baker Street at the 115 in the afternoon lineup.